It's been rumored that you and your sister will be going on a vacation in a few weeks. That's right. We're going to close the shop and go on a vacation. How charming. Where are you going? We don't know yet. Someplace sunny. And your father will let you? Of course. You've been working here for four years. This can't be your first time on a vacation. As a matter of fact, yes. I love working here so much, the time just seems to fly by. You've never gotten fed up, tired. I admit, yes, sometimes I feel tired. But I have Sundays to rest. Well, I must say, you really are an exceptional person. You've never felt the urge to leave. No. As I told you before, I really love working here. But couldn't your brother replace you? You know you're not supposed to know I have a brother. Oh. Okay. Is there someone you know, someone among your acquaintances, who could replace you for a week or two? Well, perhaps my brother could do it. How old is your brother? He's 18. But he's still in school. And he's doing quite well. He needs the summers to relax. You and I both understand how difficult that can be. How tiring no to be- No more tiring than working here. Besides, I did better than him in school, and yet I have to stay here, and he can go on. Do you want to play or not? You can still play and tell the truth. You think they tell the truth on television? That's for the audiences. This is for us. When we're older. Are you going to listen to this nonsense when you get old? I don't know. Maybe. At least I'll know it's there. I'll be right back. Do you need anything? This is Cow Cop talking. Yesterday on TV, I saw these little children with huge stomachs and enormous eyes full of pain. And when I see these things on television, I tell myself, Cow Cop, you're well off. I'm lucky. Amir's nice to me. She lets me read. And I eat well. Mama always cooks good meals. What I'm trying to say is... I wasn't born to cry in silence. And... It just seems to me there must be something more than... Suffering. Seems to me there must be something more.